super late. I know it's late. Can we get a, a Tiny Desk concert? Let's at Tiny Desk and find out if they want one because they've literally had everybody in and all around me from my generation before and after me, but they haven't asked me to do one. And Y'all know I'm not chasing anything that's not chasing me. I love Tiny Desk, but I've not been asked to do one. If they want me to do one, I'd be more than happy to do one. Hi, everybody. Hey, Kelly. Thank you. Somebody said not here in California. <laughs> Period. <laughs> when am I coming to Nevada? I might have a Nevada announcement soon. I don't want to say because it's not confirmed yet, but there is a Nevada offer, so I'll let you guys know. I haven't been on in a while, and so... My godson is in my live. Hey, son, how are you? I love you. I haven't been to Boston in quite a while either. I would love to come to Boston. You were on the second row tonight. That is awesome. Thank you. Jamaica, I need to be in concert with you. Like, I am really trying to do an island hopper concert. Y'all don't understand. A girl's trying to come rip the stage and then lay on the beach for a couple of days in between shows. I am not playing. So, all y'all, like, show buyers and whatnot in the islands, we are here for you. We are here for you. You ready to go, girl? Oh, yeah. Listen, I I, my, my team is ready to go. We, the microphone is warm and the bathing suits are ready. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I see so many Detroit people in this live. You want to say hi? Mm -mm. No? Okay. My assistant does not want it. She's amazing, y'all. I swear to God. If you are at a live show and you have the opportunity to meet her, you already know that she is like the dopest. But I will respect the fact that she don't want y'all all up in her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I will not put her on camera. But um, Detroit, yo, it was a vibe, y'all. It was a vibe. Thank you. I loved being on stage for you guys tonight. Like, I just, listen, music as a kid was my therapy. I wrote to get myself out of the craziness that was, at, you know, that was my childhood. Um, and God blessed me to be able to do it for a living. So I would never complain, you know, about whatever. Um, Oh my God, Matt Rockstar, I'm on my way back to Miami. Just wait. Like, it's coming sooner than you know. Like, seriously, coming sooner than you know. Birthday month is on the way, and I am going to be in birthday behavior all month long. All month long. When I tell you I'm cutting up, not only will I be performing, but I'm coming to certain cities just to party. I will let you know where I'm going to be because we are going to allow fans to come and party with me for my birthday. I'm celebrating a big number this year. Um, and I'm super excited. Um, I wasn't in the Color Purple remake because I wasn't asked to be in it, but I absolutely love the cast that was selected. I believe that when it comes to things like that, the people who are supposed to be there are there. And yeah, like I just, I love, love, love the women who represented us. For that movie so if it was not me there are enough representatives in our community of talented beautiful amazing women of color who are able to do what they did and the women who were selected did absolutely what they were supposed to do and above and beyond my birthday is April 4th I'm an Aries girl <laughs> 
and growing up an uh, old Church of God in Christ Pentecostal girl, I didn't even know what the hell being an Aries meant. I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out. <laughs> you laughing at me, right? But I'm like, for real, I'm still trying to figure out what that means. But I am learning that I do have certain personality traits that rock with other very well-known Aries women uh, like me, as in Maya Angelou, and you have like Joe Scott, and, and even some of the men. Clive Davis is an Aries. Eddie Murphy is an Aries. I'm like, with you know, for, if we're talking about just from a creative standpoint and people who are um, a game. I sit in great company, and that list is very short because I know there are many more, but I'm just going off the top of my dome piece right now. Um, hey, March Aries, how are you? Um, we had a great show in Detroit tonight. Um, I added some things. Hi, Lady Monique Elliott. God bless you. I love you. Um, I added some music back into my set that hadn't been there for a while. Shaka Khan is an Aries. She absolutely is, and she is not to be played with. She is one of my favorite vocalists of all time. Um, but in the city of Detroit, where black music, this was the residence of black music, like at its core for a very long time. Um, and it'll always be that, whether it's gospel or soul or R&B. Whenever I come here, Yo, my crowd is always the most. And when I say the most, it's the best because they're music connoisseurs. They are smart musicians like, or music lovers, um, but they're Detroit people <laughs> from head to toe. Like they are Detroiters and they do not play about what they love. And so, you know, we were here over the summer at the newly named Aretha Theater, which was once Shane Park that I had performed at for many years as an artist and as a background singer with the incredible Ronald Isley and the Isley Brothers. Um, and I got a chance to bless the newly named Aretha over the summer and now back here um, playing. I played tonight at um, the soundboard, which was amazing. We had a sold out house. The audience was on fire. We had a lot of audience participation tonight. For those of you who have been to a Kelly Price concert in the last few years and you have not heard me perform the song Tired, we performed it tonight and we gave audience members an opportunity to come on stage and let everybody know exactly what it is they're tired of. And I sang background along with my background singers for some of the audience members who are tired of some ish in their own <laughs> life. <laughs> and they told us exactly what they were tired of. And they did not hold back when I tell you it was insane. I cannot wait to do it again. We are going to be back here soon i will make sure that you know about it it's always great coming to the city of detroit i have been here whether it's for music or for plays and it's never disappointing you guys always show up you always show up you always sing along like my background singers really could have just sat down and had a glass of wine tonight because the audience <laughs> was on it. I could have sat down and had a glass of wine tonight because they sang all the parts. They sang my part. They sang the background part. They sang the ad libs. I had audience members be Mr. Biggs tonight. It was audience members who were R. Kelly tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and even for some of the people that was hissing at it, I had to check them out. I was like, oh, listen, this ain't got nothing to do with what you think about. This is me. This is my song. My song is good. My song, my, my music is good. Like, don't hate on my music. The hey, audience baby. got involved. Hey, baby. But the audience got involved. We had an amazing, amazing, amazing time at the soundboard. The staff was amazing. Too bad I know um, you I am on live. I am on live. Um, the staff was amazing. Um, everybody was amazing. I got a chance to do a private meet and greet with several of the fans tonight, which y'all know post COVID is a big deal, right? But I had so much fun. I had so much fun. 
meeting the fans and taking photos and all of that kind of stuff. And so I'm just looking forward to doing more and more of that with you. I want to say thank you to the city of Detroit. Thank you to the staff of the soundboard and everyone who went over and above to make sure that my experience was second to none, that I had everything that I needed, and that the audience would get the show that they paid to come to see. So with that said, um, I have not, you know, I've been taking a bit of a social media break. I, I'm pretty sure you all can tell everybody's like, where you at, Kelly? Where you at, Kelly? Sometimes I need a break. It's a lot going on in the world. There's a whole lot going on in the world. There's a whole lot going on in our industry. There's a whole lot going on with fellow, you know, artists and entertainers. And my thing is just like, if I don't have anything that is constructive to add to the conversation, my thing is to keep silent. And if I am led to, to pray that the best outcome happens, which generally that's what I'm gonna do anyway. The best co outcome happens for all involved, that justice you know, is served and that the best co outcome happens for all persons who are involved. But I love what I do. Um, I love the fact that I've been given so many great opportunities over these last over 30 years and that um, there are some of you literally who have been there since day one and I do not take that for granted. I do not, um, I don't ignore that. I think you are amazing. Um, yes, thank you. A good hiatus is necessary for peace of mind from time to time with social media. It can become um, a bit difficult because you all are there and you're always screaming I love you and let me know that you have my back. But we also know that trolls tend to use megaphones and they um, tend to be even louder. And so peace of mind is the most important thing. But I am here, I am here for you. I am here with you. Um, I will have dates to announce um, in the very, very near future that I will put up so that you can in advance get your tickets if you are in the area or if you feel like doing a road trip in, during the summertime with you and your homies and your girls or make it a lover's trip for the weekend or whatever the case may be. I look forward to seeing all of you and my audiences over the next few months. Um, I will let you know what cities I'm coming to. So if you're nearby or if you just feel like you want to go on a trip, I would love to have you. Um, we're going to be implementing more um, meet and greets and making sure that they are safe for all of us so that we can see each other and meet each other up close and personal and take pictures and have conversations. And, um, and that's pretty much it. I've been gone for a while. So I just wanted to say hi. And even for everybody that's been like, girl, where are you? Like my phone been in a corner somewhere. I've just been taking some Kelly time. It was very necessary. But I appreciate the fact that even when I need to do that, when I come back, you're there. Um, for those of you who are celebrating St. Patrick's Day, happy St. Patty's Day to you. Thank you. I see you. Um, and I think that is pretty much it. Atlanta, I have an announcement for you. I heard somebody, uh, Rooch underscore Griffey, you said, what about Atlanta? Give me like three days. I'll tell you about Atlanta. Um, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love you all. Uh, I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to sing with you. I can't wait to sing for you. And for some of you, for a select few of you, I can't wait to party for my birthday with you in the month of April. I do know that we, I know of two states that we are already coming to strictly for the purpose of celebrating my birthday. And we are going to make it available to not just my personal friends, but we will have a specific number of fans that are allowed to come in and join us so that we can just um, celebrate life together. So hit me up if you're an April baby. That makes it even more special. If you're an Aries baby, um, hit me up. We can celebrate our birthdays together. We're partying all month long. We really are. Thank you so much. Um, I love you guys. God bless you. I hope you are well. Um, I am back from my self-imposed social media hiatus, but I will tell you that I am not going to be an everyday person. Sometimes we need a breather from it, all right? Happy early 410, I see you. Um, yeah, let me know. John Connor, I love you. I see you. Um, I love you guys. You are always 
near and dear to my heart. And Detroit, what can I say about you? Um, you're Detroit. You're Detroit. And I love you. You've never disappointed me, ever. And tonight was no different. I love you guys. Peace. Good night.